Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Adulting with Addie. My name is Addie Buckley Burnell. I'm the Associate Director of Career Development in the University Career Center, and I'm here to share a little bit of tips about just being an adult. Um, so, <laughs> one of the funny things that I've noticed during all of the millions of email transactions I've been receiving lately is that we don't always inform anyone about what it is to have an appropriate email signature. And what I have found is that it really does make a huge difference. Uh, making sure that we have the important elements in there, making sure that it will actually load properly for everyone's computers um, or phones, and just being professional could be something that you should know about. So I'm going to show you how to create an email signature in the online version of Outlook, um, which is probably what you're using for all of your email for school. And if not, it'll have something similar in just about every program you have. All right, so I'm going to switch screens here. We want to go into here. All right, so ignore my incredibly full email box. Uh, but <laughs> when you are in owa.auburn.edu, I'm sorry, edu, uh, you're going to have the option of setting an email signature. Go over here to settings up here on the right hand side. View all Outlook settings. All right. And you're going to have all sorts of different options in here. In the compose and reply is going to be where you find your signature. All right. So this is going to be my signature that I use for my online version of Outlook. Um, you're going to have something similar in every email function you have, um, but I wanted to show you this because this is probably what a lot of you are using right now, um, but I'll also show you what it looks like in your traditional Outlook too. Um, so for this, you're going to see a few different elements here. Um, when you're creating your email signature, you're going to want to, of course, have your name. Pretty important there. If it is a professional signature, you're going to then want to have your title, your organization name, a phone number, and then restate your email address. All right. Now it is going to be up to you on if this is going to be set for new messages or in a reply, and they are typically a little different. So new messages that you're composing will typically need more information in them because this is the first time that you might be speaking to that person, or it might be a scenario where this is their first interaction. Um, however, replies, typically that conversation has already begun, and so you're gonna need less information. So in a reply email, I may only have, uh, you know, maybe, these elements. It's really entirely up to you on what you feel is appropriate given your scenario. You'll see here automatically when you're replying or not, it's up to you on how you set that. Now for the online versions, I would encourage you to have them as basic text as possible. So not a lot of colors, no images, because that is going to be what is the most plain text that can be read for most cell phones, that can be read for most items. Um, having a lot of images and a lot of colors can actually make it unreadable for certain pieces, or you might get 15 attachments. All of that can be frustrating. So keep it basic, but I do encourage you to include, of course, your name, very important, and an email address. So often we leave that part off, and if they're trying to compose something new to you, it takes some digging to find that. Even though it's a reply, it still can take some digging if you're using an address book function within your work email. Um, you can also then have the option of doing some formatting, whatever you want to do. Uh, and you can see all the other elements that you have some options for. All right. Now, once you hit save, this will be what is used for everything that you are sending through. Now, if you're using something like Outlook, how you do this will look a little bit different. Um, when it comes to your email signatures, you're actually going to have to pull up a new email in Outlook. All right. And if you see here, my signature came up automatically. Your signature will come up by however you si um, decide to put it. And you can have multiple signatures within your account. Um, the only way to pull it up um, to easily is by pulling up an email, go to signature. And if you go to signatures, you can start creating them. Now you see, this is my Outlook one, which means that this is what I use primarily only for my actual work emails. Um, for that reason, I might have a little bit more involved here. All right, so you're going to see my name, my position title, my universe, uh, you know, where I work. I include my pronouns to be more inclusive and so people know how to address me. Um, you can see different elements here and then I have links to social media. Now my replies will not have all of that. And so you'll see I have a different 
option for my new messages than I do my replies. Um, and so be cognizant of that, but realize that even things like this will show up a little funny when you're getting it on an iPhone or so forth. So keep those things in mind. You can set all sorts of new ones. You just simply have new. You will name it. Okay. And you'll be able to create that different email address, or I'm sorry, a different email signature. Uh, and then again, you can connect everything here. You can, of course, do links, you can do business cards, all sorts of fun stuff, but keep it basic. The things that you'll want to avoid in this is lots of fun text or things that are unreadable. Uh, you also are going to want to avoid things like quotes or scripture um, that can be something that is abrasive to some people and so you may think about avoiding that in a professional context now in your personal emails by all means use what you want um, but people tend to get a little annoyed when there's you know a half a page if it's printed where a uh, email signature when it could just simply be your contact information so keep it clean keep it professional make sure it's readable and make sure that you're always connecting it back to your email and your name at the very least so that people know how to respond to you or to get back to you i hope that was helpful for you today i know this is kind of weird stuff but it is stuff that i'm noticing not everybody seems to know um, and so keep your emails professional and keep them clean keep your email signatures the same way and you'll be amazed at how differently people can respond to you that was adulting with addy stay tuned for another version soon